Good evening. Suspected mail thieves caught red-handed rifling through mailbox after mailbox. Yeah, take a look at this video from Vicksburg. The suspect moving right down the line. We're going to show it to you, pocketing anything and everything they could find right there. That's 9 News Channel 3's Trisha McCulley spoke to neighbors who tell us they finally took matters into their own hands. Caught on camera, this video shows the suspects quickly taking mail from a line of mailboxes. What you can't see are the hidden cameras some Vicksburg residents used to catch the thieves in the act. I think the biggest draw to it is that mailboxes on every street are easily accessible. Yep. You know, that, I mean, it took them less than 10 seconds to get through all of them. The couple who set up the cameras did not want to be identified, but say this has been an ongoing issue, so they took action. And we put two more up at various angles so that, you know, if one angle didn't catch the right thing, we had two other ones to hopefully rely on. And sure enough, we got them. Randy Hardman also lives in the neighborhood and says he first noticed his mail was stolen last summer when packages his wife sent out never got delivered. So I stuck him in the mail and didn't think a thing about it. And in about two or three weeks, people were saying, where's our stuff? Hartman says he feels violated. He says he's not taking a chance of being stolen from again. I got wise pretty quick, and so when we have things like that, I drive them into the post office almost always now um, just to ensure that it doesn't happen again. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office tells me they are investigating mail thefts happening here in Vicksburg. They tell me what thieves are looking for in your mailbox are unemployment checks, social security or tax refunds, any money or personal information they can get their hands on. The sheriff's office says this is happening across the county from Brady Township to Alamo. Deputies say they need the public's help identifying the suspects. Neighbors hope this video will deter the thieves. I hope so. I'm like, if they have any sense, it will. But if they had any sense, they wouldn't be doing it. Take a good look. If you recognize someone in this video, call police. When tragedy strikes, first responders are there by our side with helping hands. In the midst of an emergency, sometimes they need a little bit of help, too. News Channel 3's Amira Austin tells us how a new group in Battle Creek will support those on the front lines. Whether it's a big fire or a huge crash, first responders can be on a scene of a tragedy for hours. So when they're taking care of the victims, who's taking care of them? A new program in Calhoun County is working to respond to them as they respond to you. 45 years of firefighting and I retired in 2018. After years of putting out fires, Joe Textera is now a member of the new American Legion Emergency Response Team. American Legion Post 257 in Battle Creek is launching a first of its kind alert system in the area. Our mission is to make sure we take care of our first responders. The alert team is renovating two trailers to serve as mobile shelters where first responders can take a break on the scene of emergencies like fires, missing person searches and crashes. I want to keep them fresh, you know, refreshed and uh, able to stay in the fight. Alert Commander Dell Kilborn says the trailers will be stocked with snacks and water and other items needed to aid in the on-scene recovery. We're going to take their vitals, hot coffee or something cold to drink depending on the time of year, place to warm up, get their bunker gear off. The alert team is made up of 16 people, including former firefighters and fire chiefs, who will be first aid and CPR trained. Texera says it's a program he wishes he had while working on the front lines. Especially when you get back-to-back -back emergencies, you get wore down after, you know, three or four fire calls. And then you get that big one, you got to be out there all night. The alert team will be on call 24-7 to support more than two dozen fire departments and nearly a dozen police departments across Calhoun County. I'm helping my brothers and sisters. That's the way I look at it. What does that mean to you? It's really close to my heart. The alert system is set to launch in April. They are in need of donations. They're accepting items such as coffee, bottled water, folding chairs, blankets, and more. To find out how to donate, visit this story on our website, wwmt.com.
Families who are struggling to pay rent, listen up. There could be some relief coming your way. News Channel 3's Maria Serrano is joining us live in studio to share how housing might be become more affordable for these people, Maria. Yeah, actually, this coming Tuesday, the wait list for a state agency's housing voucher program is finally opening. It's the first time in about 16 years that the wait list is taking in more names. We had, we had so many on the waiting list from 2006. And Including a steady flow of homeless applicants that were referred and prioritized in Kalamazoo County. Kalamazoo County was one of those counties where we felt it was time to um, open the list. But now the Michigan State Housing Development Authority is opening up its housing voucher wait list for low-income families because it has vacancies to fill. We don't want to keep too many people on the waiting list um, for a false hope. The first 1,000 names selected during the random selection process will be placed on the waiting list. If our costs drop, um, so the amount of assistance that we're providing drops, that means we can also help additional Families, um, if our costs increase, that means we can help less. But roughly 150 vacancies will be filled for individuals that live and work in the county. They would have that um, additional income available for them for other you know, essential um, needs that they may have, family needs. In Kalamazoo County, there are 1,184 families with housing choice vouchers. It will... <laughs> Be a great opportunity for families who may be rent burdened right now um, where, you know, if they're selected from the waiting list and they're offered a voucher, um, you know, Mishta would be paying a portion of their rent. Mishta officials also say they've been able to make some program changes that make it more attractive for landlords to participate. But COVID has posed some challenges. I mean, we continue to see some residual from that um, with um, um uh, you know, a lack of housing units available for our families because um, there just hasn't been the turnover in, in units for families to select. And not everyone that gets selected from the waiting list ends up with a voucher. Sometimes in some areas it does take, um, you know, a, a, like basically what we call a, uh, a five to one pull. You, you pull five names to fill one voucher. If families meet income and screening criteria, they're required to pay at least 30% of their monthly income to rent, and Mishta pays the rest. Right now, the agency helps about 28,000 families across the state. If you're interested in applying, the application will open on Tuesday at 9 a.m. To apply, go to the web version of this story at wwmt.com.